Hi everyone, welcome back to our final panel today on Saturday at MCM London and it is a good one because flying, flying in for us, not on Firefly but from Germany, please welcome Summer Glau and Sean Mayer. I like that, that's sort of a royal wave there. <laughs> I learned here. You learned it here. <laughs> and um, it's really great to see you, I know you guys are just in Germany, how was that? One more time. You were in Germany recently. How oh. was that? Yes. Oh, so fun. It was really fun. We had a yeah. great time. Very, very, very kind people and great food, and it was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Was it your first time there? It first was my time first time in Hanover. Hanover. Yeah, first yeah. time in Hanover. Yeah. And we know that you guys have done lots of conventions. Do you remember your first ever convention? Mine was here. Uh-huh. In, in Yours as well. In the UK, yeah. Yes, mine, mine is, I, I think we might have been at the, yeah, same, at the same one. Convention. Yes, yeah. I, I remember uh, Joss trying to describe what conventions were like to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's really hard, isn't it? You really can't. You just have to go and see it. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. My first convention, before I ever did a convention like this, yeah. was at Comic-Con halfway through the shooting of Serenity. Joss brought us all down there. Do you remember? And we sort of took the universal plane and we got there and we snuck in the back door. We stepped out on stage. Basically, they applauded for us and we left. But I remember <laughs> just being like, wow, I didn't realize there was, I think, like 3,500 people trying to see us. Yeah. Because Joss, he showed like a little clip of it, of the movie. And then he said, and now I have nine more surprises for you. And we all walked out like one at a time. And wow. they were like, Rah! and I was like, <laughs> Oh my, I had no idea. And I, grab, I was standing next to Marina and I grabbed her hand. I was like, holy sh She's like, I know. Crazy, right? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy. I mean, it is, but crazy awesome. And I think that it must be odd in a way for you guys, like, so long since the show, because I think the show first aired in 2002, to still have that reaction. Yeah. We've, uh, we were talking about this earlier at our panel that uh, we... First of all, I couldn't imagine what it was like to have this kind of love from, uh, from a fan base. Uh, and second, to have a show that, uh, that made a connection with people in this way. I, I believe that, um, that the, the movie would not have happened without the, the intense love and, and, and devotion and, and uh, and persistence from our fans and I know that it's changed my career um, being part of, of this world and having the support uh, and the loyalty from from this fan base and I, we certainly could not have anticipated that we'd still be getting together and celebrating the show all these years later yeah well has everyone here watched Firefly yeah, yeah. And what do you think it is that makes it so watchable even now and so rewatchable? I think it's a, there's a few different things. Uh, I think I think we're we're all sort of realizing, or I'm just realizing that I think part of it is because it was taken away too soon, mm -hmm. and so there's an allure to it. Yeah. Um, uh, I think there's also just the the world that he created, that Joss created, I think there was something for everybody there and that I think um, we're drawn to sort of the the family unit as dysfunctional as it was the uh, you know the dynamics of the ship I think there was yeah. something for everybody there and I think there was a a real I don't know, and then of course the the actors, we truly loved each like I've, I've, done, I've done press for shows before and I was like yeah you know we all get along and we go have drinks after work and it's so great um, and then when we were doing press for Firefly I was like no seriously like we <laughs> all love each other it's crazy um, you it's all really, actually live yeah, on that shop if you can. Yeah, and I think it was sort of kind of the energy between the cast was it's just kind of something that bled through yeah well it must have been great then to go back for Serenity um, for the movie, and I'm wondering, you know, when you when you went back, were you sort of crazy happy to be back, or were you worried, am I going to get killed off? I, well, we had read the script, 
and we, we knew that we were living. <laughs> so. so most relieved. of us made it to the end, but yes, we it was. Um, it, 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 we didn't want to get our hopes up too much because the idea of making a film from a series that only lasted 13 episodes seemed really too much to ask for. Yeah. I think. And so it was really a miracle. It, f- it felt like a dream come true to, to, to get to make the film. And what did it feel like stepping back aboard the ship after all that time? I mean, for me, it was like riding a bike. Uh-huh. I mean, because we were in the, in the company of the same cast Joss was directing it they recreated the ship exactly except it was all in one big ship instead of like cutting it up yeah, yeah. like on the old set and on the Fox lot you would you know exit the cargo bay to go to the infirmary but then if you t- turned around that way there was no so they just didn't build the whole ship together and on the Universal lot we had the entire ship wow um, which was Amazing. really remarkable but we always joke because the on the Fox lot, the bathrooms were like that way, and on the Universal lot, they were that way. So anybody who had to go to the bathroom, you'd hear them like walk away and then go, shit, and then go to the other <laughs> door, because it was really big, it was like far, and it was like, take you a while to go back to the other door. That was really the only difference. It was like the bathrooms were like very way. confusing. <laughs> so the bathrooms was the key. Yeah. And um, going back aboard the ship then, did you have a favorite place that you guys used to want to hang out in or sort of felt particularly sort of homely to you? I remember we spent a lot of time sitting on the couches outside the infirmary. Outside the infirmary, yeah. That they was were kind the of softest. Like our, they were so soft. You could actually take a nap there. <laughs> yeah, if, you could. You know, unless they were shooting there. Like, but it was always dark and kind of cool, uh-huh. you know? In our little rooms, people would, the crew, our, our, our camera crew, sometimes we would show up after lunch and they'd be sleeping in your bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the perfect little spot to catch a cat nap during lunch. Because I guess on the show, you actually did quite a lot of sleeping in the infirmary yeah. or a lot of scenes in bed, which is pretty cool. <laughs> it, was, it was nice. It's exhausting. <laughs> and um, when you um, went back for the show then, the sort of, the second time or when you went for Serenity, was there any, I mean, there's been lots of discussion as well, but was there any further discussion about um, spin-offs or a further movie or what would you see happening? I mean, if there are talks of spin-offs, I, I've not heard them, so I don't know. What would you like to do? Say if you had a River Simon spin-off. Spin-off. <laughs> <laughs> That sounds crazy. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I want to spin off because yeah. uh, because having having this much love from from your fan base and having them cherish what you made also raises the stakes so high that uh, I I don't I don't know if I would want to take something so beautiful and so perfect and try to do it again. Um, yeah, I agree. And sometimes yeah. things are beautiful because they don't last. So um, th- I feel that way about it. At the same time, this show kind of has a, a, a miraculous life of its own. So nothing would surprise me. Yeah, that's true. I wouldn't be surprised if you know next year we're not doing a Netflix. Uh, you <laughs> I know, think Joss has considered it. <laughs> and do, you remember, um, do you remember when Joss used to talk about the flying Tams? We. <laughs> The flying Tams. We were, Joss was going to say that he, Summer and I were going to go on, on on the road. We were going to start a, <laughs> uh, a, circus a circus called the Flying Tams, and we were going to do the trapeze. And <laughs> yeah, if not we in my get the current show. state, of maybe, course. Maybe, but maybe a bit later. Yeah, you know, later on. <laughs> that would be very cool, though. And then um, Simon, I wanted to ask. I heard there was a game that used to be played on set called Find the Extra. Is that right? Finding what? Find the Extra. Can you explain? It's mean, no. <laughs> now I'm really curious. It's not, it's not a nice game. It... Disgusting what to say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next question. Next question. <laughs> 
Fair enough. Um, so we're going to take a couple of audience questions in a moment. If you guys have anything to ask our lovely pair here, then stick your hands up. Um, but before we do that, Just Sweden obviously is a huge name in the industry. And you guys have been lucky to work with him more than once. So what would tips would you give to somebody working with Joss Sweden? Say your lines just the way he wrote gonna, them. I was going to say, don't fuck up the dialogue. <laughs> oh, am I allowed to say that? Yeah, it's online. We're good. <laughs> yeah, don't mess up the lines. And be really authentic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, he, he, he started my career. Nobody would cast me. I would always, I would audition and then I would get to the very end and then they would say, you're great, come back when you have some credits. And well, you know, somebody has to take a chance on you. Right, it's and I 22. He, he saw, when, when I first started, I had no filter. I didn't really, I, I, I had no experience. I was really raw and I made a lot of mistakes. But he saw something that, that, that he thought would work and um, I uh, you know I was I was young and I was uh, I didn't have any experience and I didn't know any better so I just I really just showed up and I was just myself and I think that he gave me a really safe a safe place to do that and um, I think that it, it brought out it brought out my best fantastic well yeah. we certainly thought you were amazing and I know Thank you guys did as well so put your hands up for me if you have a question we'll come around Hi, um, I just want to say thank you for both being here. And um, Summer, um, you've been in uh, Big Bang Theory as yourself, Summer. Was that cool or would you like to do it again? Could you, could you, yeah. um, could you say it one more time? Yeah. I couldn't hear you in here. You, you've been in Big Bang Theory, um, being you, Summer. Uh, was oh, that cool? Oh, thank you. Um, oh, it was so cool. It was Would you like really to do cool. it again? Of course I would like to do it again. I, I, um, I, I was pretty nervous because I've never been on a, on a classic sitcom soundstage before and they work very differently from, uh, from the way we do in, on drama sets. So I was pretty nervous and you know those guys are just the, the best in the biz so I, I tried not to ruin too many takes by laughing. <laughs> And I think if I went back, I could be a little bit more professional. You certainly know your sci-fi royalty when you end up in the Big Bang Theory as yourself. <laughs> and um, I'm sorry, we don't really have much time left, but I do have one final question for you. So if you were in real life to travel off on a Firefly spaceship in, for the foreseeable future, what one thing would you like to take with you? Uh. Booze? <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. That's perfect. Maybe not for you right now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I would take my baby, but, I, but I'd like to take my husband, too. I like him, too. <laughs> They're okay. Well, thank you so much for coming and talking to us here on the NY and Buzz stage. It's been absolutely wonderful to have you back together and here with us. Please, everyone, say a great, massive thank you to Sean Mayer and Summer Gow.